I've been doing appearances on television series and shows, <laughs> uh, I, I guess from 40 years, maybe more. Uh, number one, of course, they're, you can't ignore the fact that they're just an enormous amount of fun. Number two, they're very productive because they give you a whole column to write about. And number three, you make uh, a lot of great uh, associations with people for futures. What kinds of roles have you played? Well, you know, most of the things I've played are, are, quote, newspaper men, journalists, columnists, what have you. But I've done other things as well. <clears throat> what is, your, what is your, most, your favorite television role? Oh, my favorite role, of course, has to be California Suite, which was the Oscar sequence in the California Suite, in which we act, Herb Ross, the director, actually got an okay from the Academy to shoot the scene at the Academy Award, at the Academy site, the, the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion downtown. We did it a little before the actual mob scene started, uh, in which I interview Maggie Smith and Michael Caine, who are arriving. She's playing an, an Academy Award nominee, and he's playing her, her husband, a, a sort of a foppish husband. Uh, and um, so I interview them as they come up to my stand and so on. And then they go into the Oscars. And um, the next morning, the um, L.A. Times in their color story about the uh, about the uh, the Oscars that previous night was talking about the fact that Army Archer couldn't even identify Maggie Smith and Michael Caine as they came up to the, his platform. Because of course, I introduced them as their character names in the movie. Well, Herb Ross was so incensed about the fact that they did that to me that he wrote them a letter demanding a correction. Of course, every time I see Michael Caine, and I have seen him, I don't know, a hundred times since that time, since he has, of course, won the Oscar twice, been nominated four times. By this time, he may have won the th another time. But anyhow, so we always get a big laugh out of the fact that there he was at the Oscars as the, as the husband of a, of a nominee. Another show you appeared on was That Girl, and that was three times. That Girl with Marla Thomas. Yeah, I, I appeared on that, uh, playing myself, and uh, of course Marla Thomas and I have been friends for more years than she'd like to remember. Again, some recent roles um, include Murphy Brown. Uh, I did Murphy Brown with uh, Candace Bergen, and uh, I appeared as myself in that segment also with Liz Smith. The two of us appeared in that segment, uh, which was pretty funny. Uh, at least we thought so. You also appeared on Ellen. That was interesting, appearing on Ellen. Um, first of all, I was so impressed by what a tremendous worker she was as producer of the show as well as the star of the show. And we had an amazing amount of fun on it. I was playing myself at an award ceremony, uh, which is why I've been hired for these... Uh, various roles, I guess, to make the television show seem more authentic. <laughs> Maybe I destroyed the authenticity, I don't know. You also appeared on Diagnosis Murder. I did a Diagnosis Murder segment, ironically, with, with my friend Regis Philbin, uh, <laughs> in which he gave me a very bad time, in the script, of course, because we, we were very old, very good friends. As a matter of fact, Regis and I used to co-host premieres here in Los Angeles way back in the days when he was just starting before he became Mr. Regis Philbin. But we're, we're very close dear friends. We always see each other when either I'm in New York or he's out here. <laughs>